Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. I am Sonic Fan441, otherwise known as Cameron Newton, and this is my Corpse Bride review for my creative writing class. The Corpse Bride was released in the year 2005 and was directed by the creatively horrifying Tim Burton and his assistant, I guess, uh, Mike Johnson. The movie stars Johnny Depp as the main character, Victor. It also stars Helena Bonham Carter as the Corpse Bride, named Emily, and Emily Watson as not the Corpse Bride, named Victoria. Currently, the film sits at a 7.4 on IMDb, an average score. But does the film deserve that rating, or does it deserve a different score? Well, that is what I am here to decide, and I'll be using my 15-point scale. So, without further ado, let's begin. Part 1. The Story the story of the film shows us the life of a man named Victor who was preparing to marry a woman who was the daughter of a noble family. Only thing is, the family is actually poor, which is why they are going through with the marriage. Because Victor is the son to some fish salesmen, or f salespeople, since it's, a, it's owned by a man and a woman. Victor, on the other hand, is not ready, you know, to be married. Because, despite having some affection towards Victoria, after they meet, he is very awkward. Sorry for that little bit of silence there, but he is very awkward. And he stumbles at the rehearsal for the wedding. And afterwards, he winds up to going to the woods in order to practice his vows. Which leads to a spiral of events, and he winds up... Well, watch the clip. With this ring, I ask you to be mine. When Victor awakens, he is surrounded by dead people. Insert the obvious joke here. After some antics, we get exposition in the form of a song. Here. Where am I? Who are you? Well, that's kind of a long story. What a story it is. A tragic tale of romance, passion, and a murder most foul. This is going to be good. Oh! Hit it, boys. I was not ready for today. After the musical number, it is revealed that the corpse bride was killed by a gold digger in the woods because he wanted her money. After the musical number and the reception of sorts, Victor runs away, but is caught by the corpse bride and they sit and have a talk. She gives him a wedding gift, which turns out to be a pet dog that Victor once had when he was young, but died and passed away. After this, Victor has a plan to return to the real world. However, this plan is a farce. His plan is for them to meet his mother and father, however, Victor, when he gets a chance to, as he tells Emily to sit and wait, he goes to Victoria. However, Emily gets skeptical, chases after him, and finds him and takes him back to the land of the dead. Anyways, once they return, they ta the movie, sorry about that, the movie tackles the typical plot point of the misunderstanding in this type of film. And it's confronted, they make up, and after the make up, it's revealed that a supposed rich newcomer named Lord Barkus is marrying Victoria. 
So Victor decides that he will marry Emily because he thinks that Victoria has betrayed him. However, due to the whole till death do us part thing, since that's taken literally here, Victor would have to kill himself. However, he decides to go public and goes to the church in the real world. Well, when that happens, dead people start to rise in the real world and some shenanigans happen. Happen. Sorry about that. Once again. And they go all go to the church where Victor and Emily are about to get married. However, due to the chaos, Victoria is able to escape from Lord Barkus and they have a fight where Victoria reveals that the whole reason she was marrying Victor was because they were poor. Her family was broke. Lord Barkus is angry and Victoria runs off. Well, the final showdown of sorts happens at the church where, as previously stated, Victor and Emily are fixing to get married. Victoria sees this and so does the corpse bride as the ceremony is about to be completed. But then Lord Barkus shows up and causes some trouble. And Victor and Lord Barkus fight. I always cry at weddings. <gasps> Our young lovers together at last. Surely now they can live happily ever after. But you forget. She's still my wife. I'll not leave here empty handed. After the fight, Lord Barkus technically wins. However, Victor isn't dead. He was saved by Emily at the last second. And Barkus decides to celebrate by drinking some wine. However, the wine he's drinking is poisonous. As it, you know, was for Victor, who was going to kill himself in order to complete the wedding ceremony for him and Emily. Well, Lord Barkus dies. The film officially ends when Victoria and Victor get married, officially, and then Emily evaporates into butterflies. Well, that officially ends the drug trip that was this film. Overall, I enjoy the creativity of the plot, I mean the idea of the plot, however the misunderstanding part of, the, of this plot is really cliché. It's a plot point that I really don't like, especially since I've seen different versions of it from different mediums, from comics to TV shows to other movies. Because typically it makes the main character, who is otherwise a nice character, respectful, with a little bit of awkwardness, it makes him seem like a huge jerk. Overall, the story gets a 3 out of 5, from me anyways. Part 2, Writing and the Characters. The writing and characters are pretty okay. With the best character being Victor, especially since the casting choice, Mr. Dior Savage himself, Johnny Depp, can actually pull off an awkward character nature. Along with that, there are a good mix of rubble jokes and physical humor with the writing and whatnot. However, the humor aside, the characters are written good for the story he's telling. These characters are still boring compared to Mr. Burton's other works. Yes, I hate to say it, but these characters are indeed boring. They aren't really interesting, and everything we need to know about the main characters is told directly to our faces, like with the song with Emily. And we, we don't really need to be told anything else about Victoria or her family or Victor and his family. But any other questions that you may have with them are probably answered in the film itself. And the questions that may not have an answer like how Victoria's family were broke, have been answered, but with a theoretical theory that, in my opinion, is very flimsy. But 
all of that aside, the writing and the characters overall get a 2 out of 5. Pacing and Directing Part 3 The pacing of the film is probably the best during the beginning, where nothing really lingers for too long unless it needs to. There are some jokes earlier on that do kind of pad out the opening, but I can understand this. It segments, or not really segments, but shows the awkward nature of our main character, so it does some, serve that purpose. However, the film basically hits a wall where nothing really happens, at least, well, nothing important happens. Things happen but nothing really progresses when they go to the land of the dead for the first time after Victor accidentally marries Emily. Like I said, nothing really happens here. However, the plot does jump forward later on when Lord Barkis decides to marry uh, Victoria. But even still, the things that happened beforehand, like with Victor going out, of the dead land with Emily. This doesn't really change anything, it's just characters doing something so the film doesn't twiddle its thumbs for a good 30 minutes. However, like I said, when Lord Barkis decides to marry Victoria, the plot jump starts, like instantly, and everything just sort of goes down a hill from that. The camera does focus on the characters doing something, once again. Not everything is important, but the characters are indeed doing something. Overall, the pacing and direction get a 2 out of 5. Conclusion The film receives a 7 out of 15, which for me means the film is indeed an average film as the IMDb score suggested. However, despite the averageness of it, it was memorable and gives some decent insight on how a bad drug trip would be. Anyways, thank you for viewing this review. Uh, Ladies and gentlemen, till next time.